Explain how you would measure a simple pendulum's time period of oscillations and its amplitude. Now the time period is the time taken for the pendulum to swing from its highest point on one side through the equilibrium position to the highest point on the other side and then back again. That is one complete oscillation there and back. And the time taken is called the time period. If you were to try and measure that using a stopwatch, just one oscillation, so go, stop, you would probably find your measurement to be inaccurate. It would have quite a lot of error attached to it because we have uncertainty in our human reaction time and the, the period is quite quick, just a swing, stop. And so our reaction times would be quite large in comparison to that. So there'd be lots of random error. So how could we make the measurement more accurate? Let's take a look at a method for finding the time period of a pendulum, but more accurately. So we can start by saying to find a pendulum's time period First of all, one, use a stopwatch. And it's quite important to actually state your equipment that you're, you're using when you're explaining an experiment to measure something. Stage two, measure the time taken for 20 complete oscillations. Complete oscillations, oscillations. So there and back is one and two and three and so on. Part three, divide this time, divide this time by 20 and that will give you the the average time for each oscillation which equals the average time period and that method will be a lot more accurate because you're taking an average you're reducing the effect of all the random errors such as human reaction time how would we find the amplitude? So to measure the amplitude of oscillation, well, let's state the equipment. We just need to use a millimeter or centimeter ruler or rule. And number two, we, we would measure the horizontal distance horizontal distance from the equilibrium line equilibrium line and that is this point here the center point center of the oscillations where the pendulum would come to rest eventually so measure the horizontal distance from the equilibrium line to the center of the bob at its highest point. So it would be from the center of the bob to the equilibrium line and that would be our amplitude A.